In January, President Donald Trump gave the Iran nuclear deal a deadline, May 12th. This will be the last time that the president will recertify the deal, which means it gives it 90 more days. If the deal isn't up to Trump's standards by then, he says he's not going to recertify it. There is an existing framework to control the nuclear activity of Iran. We signed it both the United States and France. That is why we cannot say we should get rid of it like that. French President Emmanuel Macron came to Washington, D.C. in part to change Trump's mind. So what happens if Trump pulls the U.S. out of the deal? First, the damaging U.S. economic sanctions on Iran would, over time, snap back into place. After that, well, some speculate that we could see more Iranian-sponsored cyber attacks against U.S. companies. Cyber warfare, the most extensive attack on American banks ever, launched from the Middle East, happening right now. Or Iran might just abandon the restrictions on its nuclear program and rush to develop a bomb. The deal was inked in 2015 between the U.S., the U.K., France, Russia, China, Germany, and Iran as a way to monitor Iran's nuclear program and keep it from developing atomic weapons. But Trump and others don't like the deal because of what it doesn't do. It doesn't address Iran's ballistic missile program or Iran's support for armed groups in places like Yemen or Syria. And the agreement includes sunset clauses, which allows some parts of it to eventually expire. Those who support sticking with the deal say after months of exhaustive negotiations, this was as good as it was going to get. If Trump doesn't stay in the deal, there is a window where negotiations might still be able to salvage it. But who knows how successful those negotiations would be.